calcium hydroxide is a line of material used for direct and indirect pulp capping. Uh, it comes in two tubes, a base and a catalyst. Take a small amount of each, equal amounts from the tube. They're different colours. And then you can just use your spatula to mix them together on the paper pad until they're an even colour. Resin modified glass ionomer, and um, this one in particular is used for lining materials. So it comes in a cartridge. If you press it, you the uh, lever, you'll get two equal amounts of liquids. One is an opaque white colour, one is a clear, and you just mix these together until you have an even colour. So if you're using glass ionomer as a lining material, so you're going to take enough powder, usually a couple of scoops, and put out an equal amount of water from a dropper. A dropper bottle needs to be held directly upright to get a proper size drop. And segment your powder into increments, and then just add a small amount of powder mixed in well each time. This means that you can get it to the correct consistency without adding too much powder. So for a lining material you're looking for sort of a double cream consistency and it should come together so that it rises up in a, in a string. So if you want to mix glass ionomer for a dressing, again put out a suitable amount of powder. And then an equal number of drops from a dropper bottle onto the slab. Split your powder into increments and gradually mix each increment at a time, making sure the powder is well incorporated into the liquid. You're going to need more powder than you would for a lining material as you're looking for a much stiffer consistency for a dressing. When mixing for a dressing, you need to be quite quick with uh, with your timings, and the material will set if you take too long to mix it. So don't pick it up in your fingers; roll it on the spatula. So polycarb oxalate cement can be used for a lining or a dressing in a similar consistency. Take a suitable amount of the powder. Put out an equal number of drops of water from the dropper bottle. And add the powder into the liquid in increments. Now you really do need to mix polycarboxylate cement on a glass slab as it uh, gets really very sticky and you can often find if you're doing it on a paper mixing pad it will the paper will lift up so a glass slab is best also a glass slab can is colder so it just slows down the setting of the material a bit quicker Zinc oxide used in all cement can be used as a dressing or a lining, again in similar consistencies. 
So put out a suitable amount of the powder. Now the end amount of material that you're left with is really dictated by the liquid with zinc oxide usual and you often need more than you think. Also it's n not a plastic bottle, it's a glass bottle so in order to get the liquid out you need to wrap your hand around the bottle and turn it properly upside down and the heat of your hand will allow the liquid to drip out. So I've used four drops there. Like the others, split the powder into increments particularly important with zinc oxide usual, it can quickly turn from being quite a runny material to um, crumbly and you want to get it before it gets to that crumbly stage so as you progress on through the mix you need to add less and less powder each time so that you don't take it over to that crumbly stage because that's very hard to work with. Again it's best to mix this on a glass slab, it's easier to bring it together. So that's firm but a bit sticky which is probably about right for a lining. For a dressing you're just going to want to add a tiny little bit more powder, just a really small amount, just to get it so it's a little bit less sticky and holds it form a bit better. So temp bond is a temporary crown re-cement material and it's the only cement we would use to temporarily re-cement crowns. Again it's two liquids, a base and a catalyst. Put equal amounts of each onto the pads. Don't make sure the nozzle of one end doesn't touch the other otherwise you'll get a setting reaction happening in the tube. There are different colours so you're just going to use your spatula to mix them up until they're a uniform even colour. <laughs> 